Welcome back folks to another episode of Carter's Country Cooking. Today we're going to be making homemade sausage. Okay, as you can see right here, I've had my fat. I've taken the skin off of the fat. Now I'm getting ready to cut. This is um, a pork butt. I usually add fat to it because typically it's not enough fat on the pork butt. You have a thin layer right here, but that's not going to be enough fat for your sausage. Your sausage will come out dry. After we cut it, dice it all up, we're going to add some of this seasoning to it. Prefix Sausage Seasoning number 200. This is made by a company in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, I'm going to get this pork butt cut up and I'm going to show you how we grind it. Okay, now our sausage is all ground, or oh, cut. We cut it into, I don't know, inch, inch and a half cubes, mix the fat in. I'm gonna season it with this breakfast sausage seasoning number 200 from the Pittsburgh Spice and Seasoning Company. This is really good. I've had all kinds, but this one is really good. So we just sprinkle some of the seasoning in it. And it'll give you a, a ratio of how much seasoning you're supposed to use per pound of meat. Now we mix this. Just a good old hand mixing will do. Try to get all the seasoning in through all that meat and fat. Okay, now it's just about ready to be ground. Um, I do have some additional seasonings that I use for just my personal stuff. But I won't grind all of this into that because some people don't like it hot, but I do. <laughs> so I, I add some crushed red pepper and some cayenne. Okay, I'll be back with the grinder. The grinder and the sausage stuffer. Okay, folks, we're almost down to the final step. We're going to grind this, um, this meat that we've prepared for our sausage. I have here uh, a natural pork casing. I don't know. It's called Home Pack. There's a picture of a pig on it. Uh, you soak the casing in the water for about 45 minutes. It takes the salt out of it. And what you will get is something like this. Just a long string. You attach that string on to the nozzle. And this is just a slow feed right here. It's not a fast process. And we're gonna put all of this casing up there and then we'll start grinding. Folks, the casing is on the nozzle. We're gonna start the machine up and load it up with some meat first. Got this little device to push it down. Okay, we're gonna start this machine up. This is a kitchen. The kitchen, the kitchen. Is there anything special you're supposed to do? Okay. Oh, as you can see, we're making uh, nink sausage today. But you can just use the same form and make loose. And you definitely need two people to do this because it's hard for one person to be able to. So it's a time consuming process. Yeah. There you go. It's um, As you are filling your casing, you have to pull it down to the bottom, like to the end of the nozzle. 
And then however thick you want it, you just... Kind of like a condom. It is. The truth. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Mm. I'm just gonna keep trying to mm -hmm. what I can do. If you if you want to be thicker, you can be thicker, or you can keep the nice side. Okay, so what I do is just leave it on there longer. Yeah, that's a good size, you know. When I first started making them, I was by myself, I was making them too thick. So I mm. couldn't really get them good. I just have to understand, like, I'm gonna count and then pull, like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Does this ever rip? No, it shouldn't. You don't want it to rip. Okay. Here we go. We have sausage. And it, and homemade sausage is like the best sausage ever. Anyway. Yeah, you actually know what you're putting in it. Yeah. You want both ends. We like to know what goes into our food. I think mm -hmm. that's why we always make our own things. We always can our own things. I don't think I on that one. That's okay. Let me see if I can. Oh, oh, so you can just push on it like this and refill spots out like I did in film. But that's just good. Just leave it out. Yeah. We go this way so you're able to see. Him. I kind of like this job. <laughs> I'm going to really turn it and kind of try to turn it up or not. Uh, maybe you should because it's kind of slow. Let's see if I can handle it. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, then I'm just standing here. I mean, you're not going to get it perfect at the beginning. I, <laughs> this is my first time, so they're not totally even, but I'm just happy I can somewhat get them even. I think the more you do it, the easier it gets. You turn it up, you have to move a lot faster. This process is a lot easier with two people than just one. Honestly. Oh. Hey. Oh, you stopped because we ran out. I was wondering, yeah. I'm like, what's he doing? <laughs> I want to keep going. Okay, so on the tip, if you don't have enough to actually close, you can just squeeze it out because you want to be able to twist it shut. So I'm just gonna take a little more. Okay. Put it up here. I think I did pretty good. Yeah, that's it. For my first time. Oh well, there's some spots that are a little that's iffy. Right. Let me twist them. But down. I think, but I think, it, but I think you can massage through though too. We're gonna twist them down to the length that you want it. Okay. Like that. So we can even make little mini sausages too, right? Yeah, just make a breakfast sausage. But that there's another attachment for a breakfast sausage. Like oh, a yeah, tiny yeah, one. make it smaller. So we're just twisting the wings. You can do any size you want, any length you want, but that's how you're gonna keep them together. We've made we like making these. We make them all the time. Um, we like to use the KitchenAid Pro. It's a lot stronger, and we actually find it to be a lot better than than just the meat grinders that you can purchase. I mean, I'm sure there are some really great ones, but we found that the KitchenAid with the attachment is the strongest, and it, we're able to push more meat through. So it makes it a little bit quicker. The KitchenAid machine is about eight nine hundred dollars. The attachment I found on sale at Target for ten dollars, I think. And um, 
Kevin is actually holding up the sausage so you can see. That's it. How they look. Well, I didn't do too bad. No. That was my first time rolling it. Rolling, I don't think I did that bad. Okay, we're going to repeat this process and we'll show you. Well, you see the final product, but some of these we're going to smoke and some of them we're going to leave fresh. And also, if you just want um, regular loose ground sausage, of course, you don't use the casing. You just turn the machine on and it'll grind your sausage that you can form into patties or if you want to put it into something raviolis or anything like that you can have your loose sausage to do that or your lasagna okay folks there you go from um a to z on how to make homemade country pork sausage hope you enjoyed this small uh, edition of Carter's Country Cooking.